So let's take a look at uh, the second chapter. The second chapter is pretty a pretty short chapter actually, but it it covers some good information on uh, reviewing what we learned in your in your previous telecom course. So chapter two um, basically gives us standards, the standards that guide us, and so you should be able to get through this reading uh, uh, fairly simply because most of it in here is information that you have seen before. Uh, in your previous courses. So uh, looks like it starts on page 9 and we're done by uh, by page 23. So not many pages. <clears throat> so this section um, really talks about the basis and the foundations uh, of what we've seen before uh, in telecommunications in your lower level classes. Uh, introduces again the the technology uh, terminology um, that you've seen in these classes, some information and background on uh, data communications, protocols. The next section here on page 11, standards. Standards, you know, seems like a very dry uh, kind of subject, but standards are very, very important in, uh, in telecommunications uh, because without the standards, uh, you, we wouldn't be able to do what we do on the uh, on the internet uh, or in sending information across a network. So you know it's a good idea to take a look at uh, what we mean by the standards. What's laid out, you know, in terms of TCP/IP and communicating uh, with frames and packets uh, over the internet. So um, if we go back, you know, and we take a look at this, we understand how uh, information uh, is gathered and packetized and, and, and uh, put together so that we can transmit it over the Internet. And if you think about what's going on uh, with, uh, with Ethernet, you know, Ethernet is, you know, your standard cable. I don't have, I thought I had a piece laying here. But your standard cable um, that you're passing information uh, over the Internet uh, on on a uh, on a cable. No, I don't have one here, uh, but it's really done serially. It's you know it's like peas down a straw. So we have to make sure that we can get the information passed serially uh, over the internet and over our networks so that we can get information back and forth as qu quickly and as cleanly as possible. It isn't until we get into the machines. Um, usually locally or in between where we're passing information in a parallel fashion. And in a parallel fashion, we can get information back and forth through our machines very, very quickly. But over the Internet and even the, the media, the open media, uh, transmitting wireless, that information comes just like peas down a straw. So we need to go back and look at um, how we put that information um, together and how the standards uh, help us to identify and do that. You know, you would have no OSI uh, in, in uh, the OSI model and what's going on with that information and putting it together. It was put together so many years ago when the, when the Internet was still ARPA. So go back and understand uh, your OSI model. Uh, the International Telecommunications Union, the Standardization Bureau. You know, the things to understand about standards, sometimes, sometimes it takes years and years and years for information um, to become standardized. You know, if you look at, if you're old enough to, to, to look at and understand what went on with things like beta and VHS for videotapes and getting color television standardized, there was a fight for years and years and years. Asynchronous transfer mode. There were years of battles uh, with people that had different ideas on what the standard should be. Sometimes the, uh, the industry drove it. It was the industry that drove your VHS tapes away from beta. And so you need to look at you know, those types of things. Um, the standards themselves, your text goes through and, and talks about this on page um, 20 uh, in your textbook. Um, it identifies here the, uh, the study of the different types of groups involved in, in your standards. And then on page 22, the standards themselves, it goes through alphabetically and identifies the standards as they are published. Um, finally, on page 23, 
you look at other important uh, organizations. So it seems like a very dry subject and uh, seems kind of trivial, but it's not trivial. And it's something that you really do need to take time. Read through on the text. See what Mr. Shepard has to say on that. Go out and do some research, you know, about what the latest uh, standards are and the latest protocols, you know, because from the time that this text was written in 2014 and before with the previous editions, um, you had different ideas for what the standard should look like. So take a look at this, carefully, carefully read it, carefully research it. When you do your paper on this, think, think in terms of those standards and protocols and uh, what was and what is now. And I think that you'll be able to learn from what you've picked up in your previous uh, information. So good luck.